Hey guys, welcome back to Power Apps Learning Channel. I hope all of you are doing well and staying healthy. Today we are going to look at how we can customize the SharePoint online list forms using, I mean, without making use of Power Apps or SPFX. No need of uh, coding or development or deployment. We'll be just making uh, use of simple JSON. It's the same approach how we can format the columns uh, using JSON formatting. Let's first understand why we might need to format uh, the list forms. So I'll just take you to the sample list. This is my sample list. And when I click on new, there are a bunch of fields which user needs to fill in. In real time scenario, there might be more than 20, 30 fields which user needs to fill in. And all these are arranged by default vertically one after another. So it's kind of messy or tedious, tedious job for user. Why not to just make it more user friendly, just group the columns uh, into different sections. So it is much easier to fill in the metadata. So that's what we wanted to do. We can do this using uh, the Power Apps customized form also. You can customize these forms using Power Apps also. Uh, but this one is kind of much lightweight option. It's much faster here. It will load faster. If you do it with the Power Apps, it will add another layer of authorization, authentication. We'll avoid that using with this approach. Now let's say you've, you've got the requirement where you need to kind of uh, format the headers here, format the body, rearrange the fields into different sections and format the, the footer as well. So let's see how we are going to do it. So to, new, to do that, you just click on new click on this particular edit form icon here. You will have multiple options here. Just click on configure layout. And you can see this, uh, you will be able to format header, body, footer. So first of all, we'll see how we can format the header. So just to save the time, I'll quickly grab the snippet from the Microsoft site. So I'll just show you, I'll put all these URLs in the description. Uh, let's just grab one of it. Let me just copy this and just get back. Okay, we'll just paste it here and preview. So you can see this, this is, uh, the header has been formatted. We'll just make some changes here as per our need. So that this is tenants details form. And you can, you can see that you can actually show the actual field values as well. So let me just add a tenant name here and it will appear here. contact details for this particular tenant. Or let's say tenant details for, okay. So tenant detail for this particular tenant. Now that that's the heading of the header, of course, uh, the text in the header. I want to change the icon as well. So here you can see this is a group icon which is used. Again, for this, you will be able to use, uh, there are plenty of icons available which are being used in the modern SharePoint, which are supported. So let's just scroll down here. I want a home icon. I want this one, which is home verify. So I'll just copy this and let me just go. So we'll just change it to home verify preview the icon is also changed. So that's how you will be able to format the header. Of course, you can play with the JSON and do a lot of things here. Uh, but I, I mean, the motive of this video tutorial is just to give you a heads up that these all things are possible and you can do a lot of things with this. Now let's just, okay, let's just save this. Close it, close this, click on new. Okay, let's just refresh this. And uh, okay, the heading has been formatted. Now next, let's move to the body section. We'll we'll rearrange these fields. Uh, let's go to body. Again, same thing. You have to uh, put the JSON formatting here, and we will rearrange all these fields. So I have I have created the JSON already. Uh, as per my need, how I wanted to arrange these fields into different sections. So let me just grab it. So here, this is pretty much simple. Uh, you can see this 
the first uh, node is section and in that you have child nodes and in all these child nodes each of the node will refer to the individual section section will have the section section name and the fields whatever fields you want to show in that particular section so let's just grab this go back here put it here save it close the form and you have to refresh it or reload the the page and click on new now you can see it uh, i have multiple sections and the fields have re have been rearranged uh, instead of vertical now they are horizontal so this is my heading you this is my second section the first section is without heading which is apartment and rent the second section then you have contract details other details approval so you can i mean this is much which looks much nicer right a user will be able to understand okay all these fields uh, this is for this section is for these fields and you don't need to scroll also much it's it's taking the whole area here it's rearranging the fields now you can here also you can do a lot of things with this uh as i said it's much simpler sections section heading fields whatever fields you want to add or show in that particular section okay so nothing get changed from the data perspective it's just that uh, this json will help you to format or rearrange your fields or format the heading uh, body and footer part of your forms and this is applicable to all new uh, a new view and edit form as well uh, for if you go back to the configure layout and you have the footer section so here also you will be able to add something depending on your organization standards uh, you will be able to format the footer as well for, for these forms let's go back to the presentation and that's what it is formatting headings uh, from this to this this is how you will be able to format it for the bodies you will be able to change the layout of the the form bodies from this is how it was earlier and once you format it that that's how it will look these are the references we have uh, used this is of course microsoft documentation these are the ui icons and this is the one for the to convert your html to json and the last one is of course let me just show you how it is uh this let me just show you here so of course there you can have the the style classes directly here static classes or you can refer to the microsoft uh, modern classes css classes as well if you see the ms hyphen font size now the list of all these classes are available is available here uh, this is a nice blog here uh, all the classes the modern classes are available here listed here with their real effect how i mean how this for example this one the bg color yellow this is how it will reflect or uh, in your ui so all these classes are available here you will be able to refer it from here so just go go and check this site as well so that's about the references what we referred to and yeah that's what uh, i wanted to share in this video quick video tutorial we'll be able to customize the list forms using simple json i hope this will help you guys thank you so much for watching see you in the next video soon